Hi guys! Today's reading is going to be a collective. We're going to take a look and see what messages the cards have for you at this particular point in time. It's going to be a general reading. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. So what is it that you need to know right now? What's the messages or the general advice that's coming through? and the Queen of Pentacles. It doesn't happen very often. And the Empress. Look at that. I don't think I've seen that before. bottom of the deck is the wheel of fortune there is definitely a energy of abundance an energy of prosperity uh, worldly success financial independence and i feel like this energy is even amplified by not only the wheel of fortune but also by the combination of the king and queen of pentacles along with the empress in the top row prosperity wealth it could represent social status people in high places um it's a very grounded practical kind of energy um it can lean towards material like materialism or material fulfillment um but the fact that you also have the six of cups there could be a message that someone here is a little bit more focused on the material aspects and so they need to balance the emotional aspect or the emotions that come with it um, first and foremost I think that to the person that I'm connecting to I feel like there's something here that you have it could be something that you have within you or it could be like a business idea or a project or a business um, or something that you're working on that I think is going to be a worldly success. OK, but um, and I think that, you know, the top row here, this is symbolic of fertility. It's and right now is like really a good time to lay the foundation for your future. Um, and what is your future? Something that is long-term, that is successful, and something that is going to be rock-solid, okay? It's going to be prosperous, it's going to be abundant, it's going to be um, very successful. The Queen of Pentacle, her throne stands for fertility, her throne stands for prosperity, the Queen of Pentacles is also very humble, okay? Both the King and Queen have the resources they need to succeed, to make a success of themselves. They just have to look around and within. Um, this is a very grounded and a very practical kind of energy. Um, and it could refer that, it could mean that the person that I'm talking to, that you're going to be landing in a high status position one day. Like you're going to have, you're going to reach worldly success or you're going to end up being like a CEO um, or, you know, high status position of some sort. There's also a very strong indication that you're going to be very successful in business, but you have to, like, it does, it does carry the message that you have to be very practical and grounded about what it is that you do, right? So yes, these are energies and these are symbols of prosperity and fertility and you know but it's also a message for you to start today to start something that could lead to abundance so yes there is I feel like there's going to be a very like you're going to enter a very an extremely right an extremely successful phase in your life or in your career or in your business and some of you are going to be providers some of you are going to provide for your family um, or you have a huge support system that relies on you and you're going to be a provider and you're going to be stepping into this role, right? 
but again there's a need for you to be practical about it like you know do the work you know you cannot expect abundance or prosperity if you do not put anything in right if you don't put in the work if you don't put in the energy um, both mental and physical you cannot expect to achieve success you cannot expect to achieve uh, abundance so a very stable secure and financially independent phase of your life or an outcome that is going to be very indulgent okay you're going to it's like you're leveling up or you're enjoying the finer things in life um it might also be a message to balance your home life with your um, business. Some of you could be meeting and connecting with someone who is very steady and very stable and financially and emotionally. You're going to feel like you've reached a comfort zone with this person. You're going to feel very safe and very looked after with this person. Like this is someone very wealthy, high status, um, but very humble, who's achieved a lot of success who may even be a big name or, you know, maybe a somebody, but is very humble and is very practical and is very down to earth. Um, if you're single, you potentially could end up meeting someone in the workplace. Okay. Um, I mean, these cards are amazing. I feel like these cards are, you know, the fact that you drew these cards... This is the epitome of success. This is, I know I'm moving things here. This is the epitome of success. This is the epitome of prosperity, abundance, and recognition. And you can have all of that and more, but both the queen and the king are hardworking individuals, okay? Hardworking, humble individuals. So this is the ultimate card for business and success and turning like a business into a massive empire. And I just don't know what more you need, but you definitely need to get started. Some of you may already be in a high position and you're very respected by others around you. And so you could be receiving a lot of offers. Um, you could also be getting a mentor or an advisor. Or you could be connecting with someone who represents the king's energy here. And that's, you know, a mentor, advisor, someone who's very wise, someone who's very practical, very efficient. There is good fortune. There is a lot of good fortune that is coming your way, especially in as in growth. Not only like in finances or abundance, but I also feel like in your personal wealth as well. If you have a business or if, if you've just started out a business, I think you can expect the business to grow. If you're, you know, doing, if you're managing a business right now, you can expect for it to continue to grow well into the future. Um, some of you are going to be receiving some very sound business advice that comes from a mentor or an advisor of some sort. Don't ignore what they say. The only thing that I would say is, with the king and the queen is that you might be emotionally cut off from something. So you may be so focused on your business and so focused on growing your success and you know uh whatever this is uh that you are emotionally cut off or you could be too independent or you may even be getting a little bit too possessive about whatever this is just getting a little bit too maybe greedy or too possessive about this idea or this venture so that's the only thing the only negative thing i um that i can think of um but other than that i definitely feel like this represents you stepping into a new phase um, of your life you stepping into a new cycle um, and for some of you I feel like you're stepping into I don't know how to say this it's like yes it's an it could be a new version of you but it's the version of you that you were always meant to become so you're and it's the version of you that will feel most like your it'll feel most like you You'll be able to feel most like yourself because it's the version of you that you were always destined to become. You were always destined to, you know, become this person or become this mentor or have this success, have this, you know, fortune or have this abundance. So, yes, it's a new version of you, but it's the version of you that kind of has been within you all along, if that makes sense. 
the version of you that has been inside of you but it's laid dormant and now all of a sudden like you've kicked up all the energy and you're finally stepping into the person the person the success that you were um, destined for I think whatever this business idea is or whatever this idea or project is that you're working on I think that honestly it should be motivation enough for you to know that it's going to have a lot of success like you're going to be very successful whatever it is that you're working on it's going to be a huge colossal massive success that in itself should be motivation enough but i just want to say that this is something that you've had a very you had a good idea of what you wanted to do with your life or what or, you know what it is that you wanted to become or who you were always destined to become even when you were little when you were little when you were a child or a young adult an adolescent um, or even like a toddler you just always knew that Maybe you were meant to be a leader. Maybe you were meant to achieve worldly status. Maybe you always thought that, you know, you were meant to be successful. I just want to mention as well, um, guys, that everyone has varying definitions of success, right? Success looks and feels different to everyone. Um, you know, the next person is going to define success very differently to how you might define su uh, success to you. So this feels like this is what you... Like this is feels like it's a success to you like you always thought that you know this is what success looks like this is what success dresses like what it feels like what it acts like it's probably also a good idea to start becoming that person now um, and just you know don't think you don't have the resources you have everything within you and you can you know make shift you can make do with everything else for the time being so it's kind of like a fake it till you make it kind of energy, but like start becoming the person that you're, you know, you're destined to be. Walk like them, talk like them, act like them, dress like them, um, be like them. And you're going to manifest and attract that, um, you know, that success into your life. I also feel like there's a message for you to work really hard. And continue working hard um, don't get distracted because I think that there is some there's some distractions around you and there's some things that um, you probably shouldn't be giving your time or your energy to but you do because I don't know you just get distracted stay focused stay focused and stay practical about you know the success that you want to achieve and the level that you want to reach if you want to be fit, you got to, you know, work out. If you want to be a painter, you have to paint, right? Um, if you want to be, if you're studying a degree, you have to be studious, right? Like, be very practical about the steps that you have to take and achieve in reaching this level of success, you know? The research that you need to do the work that you need to do um, and just also be reminded that the work works on you probably more than you actually work on it um, so there you have it abundance prosperity wealth there's also like this personal wealth guys outside of financial abundance there's a personal wealth you are growing you are growing um, I think you've done a lot of changing I think you've done a lot of reflecting um over the last i don't know a year or so now i think and you're definitely like there's some things that have changed within you and so parts of your you know external world have also changed and to coincide with those changes internally um, but i definitely feel like there's a lot of reflecting you've been doing and there's a lot of evolving that you've been doing so there's a lot of personal wealth you've accumulated a lot of knowledge a lot of um research knowledge or new information or like you've learned things about yourself and about the world around you and the people that you are connected to i also want to mention that i get a message about some like being it's a small world it's a small world and the 
whatever like for some of you it feels like you want something but it kind of feels out of reach or it feels unattainable or you feel like like you're making it too much of a big deal i'm not saying it's not a big deal it probably is it, and it probably is a massive you know deal to you but you need to be a little bit more relaxed about it because if you don't put distance between you and this thing is what i'm trying to say right do not put distance between you and this goal or this dream um you know if you think it's unattainable you're probably not going to take any action if you think it's impossible you're probably not going to you know be motivated or disciplined enough to keep at it so what i'm saying is kind of just like maybe downplay it a little bit or just be a little bit more casual about whatever this is because it's a small world it really is all right guys and these are your messages thanks for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by subscribing bye